MTT two weeks in, and uh, you especially seem to be on fire. Back-to-back -back victories in the 200 meters. How are you feeling about uh, your performances the, the last couple weeks, and, and how do they give you confidence going forward? Uh, with the first meet, uh, Clemson, I think it was pretty good. Uh, I definitely opened up the – it was my best opener. Um, so I think that's something that I take lightly, but um, – Obviously, I you know I just want to keep improving, and um, so it was nice to you know get the facility record there, and you know um, it's I think it was a very decent opener sub twenty one. So um, the next week was uh, Vanderbilt, um, and that went pretty well as well. I mean the track was a flat track, and you know it was a little more difficult to tackle, but uh, I think it was still a good time, and I think I'm in you know good shape to uh, you know maybe a PR in the next race, so. Walk me through that process, because I, I know, you know, you're currently ranked ninth in the nation and one of the top uh, runners in the SEC as well in the 200 meters, but you're always looking to lower that time. So everybody knows what you do on Friday night or, or Saturday, but, but walk me through those other six days. What is it that, that you do on a daily basis to, to try and lower that PR each time you go out there in competition? Um, I think... Reflecting on the previous season, I just needed, um, you know, this year I'm more focused on some speed work. And so I try not to uh, go too hard, but at the same time really working hard, um, but not enough to, you know, take away from the race or, you know, I still leave some in the tank. And so typically on Mondays, it's either, you know, I recover or, you know, if depending on how I feel, you know, we'll do some sp special endurance. Um, and then perhaps Tuesday, we'll, depending on what I did the next, uh, the previous day, you know, I'll either rest. Um, and then typically on Wednesday, you know, we'll kind of do a few accelerations, you know, something to kind of fire a little bit, but still leave some in the tank. So for me, I think um, the indoors is really a training, you know, exercise. I think really the races on the weekends kind of help you through it. So it's, I, I see it as a training process. So... Uh, yeah, the races definitely help. It's included in the program. And so, yeah. Switching gears, uh, I know you got a 4.0 last semester in the classroom, uh, which, yeah. which Coach Fry was proud about. Very surprising. And, and, yeah, and, and I know you are too. But I do want to ask you, you know, being a high-level athlete and also doing so well in your studies, how do you, how do you manage that? How, how do you divvy up that time to where you can be so successful, both uh, in the classroom and on the track where you're an All-American? I think um, academically, especially in the fall, it's a lot easier to manage that, um, you know, because you're not traveling every weekend. So you can pretty much uh, go to class and, you know, kind of put in that time academically as well as, well as on the track. Um, so I think it was it was something I wasn't really trying to do it. Um, it's just it just kind of happened. Um, you know, I think I was like halfway through the semester and I just noticed, I, you know, I've got all A's in the classes. <laughs> so I was like, hey, maybe I should, you know, try to shoot for it. And um, yeah, it kind of kind of happened. So I, I, de I definitely did put in that extra effort um, without realizing I was putting in the time academically as well, you know. And um, I just kind of made sure in the in the latter end of the of the semester that I put in what I needed to. Um, the extra effort and it turned out well and then um, yeah that's pretty much how it happened. Let's talk about Arkansas this weekend. It's, it's the biggest meet so far for you guys. It's not a national meet, it's not a conference meet but still uh, the field might be as good as anything that you guys face uh, all season long. So whether it's in your 60 or, or in your 200 you're going to be going up against uh, a lot of the best runners in the entire nation uh, knowing the sort of competition that you've got in every single lane next to you, how do you prepare for that? And, and mentally, how do you focus in when it comes time to line up in the starting blocks on Friday or Saturday? I think training-wise, not much changes. I kind of just treat it like a, an extra, I mean, any other ordinary track meet. Um, but, like, in terms of mentality, I think it definitely does change. Um, this time round, you know, uh, there's a lot of schools, a lot of big schools there. Uh, a lot of top competitors, um, a lot of guys that are in the top five in the, in the nation. So it's definitely good to um, to race against those people. And I think mental mentality wise, um, you kind of get that you know that race mentality, and it, de it definitely pushes you. Um, I think that's where a lot of breakthroughs come around. Um, 
So that's what I'm hoping for this weekend. And um, yeah, it just kind of gives you that edge, you know. You know, you 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 got a challenge, and like for me, um, these past two weeks, I haven't really had anyone kind of like line up next to me, so um, and kind of you know push me to that sure. extra thing, to that extra. I got that little extra drive, you know, when someone's next to you, you need that um, to kind of get the breakthrough. And so this weekend, hopefully that's going to happen. So what's the goal this weekend? Is it to, to win the the race, especially the 200 or PR, or just to go out there and, and empty the tank and give it everything you got? Uh, give it everything I've got, you know, um, try and prove myself firstly and just, you know, leave it all on the track. And, you know, I can walk away saying that I did everything I could. Um, and the results will follow, really. Good deal. Well, we're looking forward to those results. Congratulations on what you've done those first two weeks. And, and we'll you. talk to you again soon. All right. Thank you. All right.